Okay. So let's let's go try and get what was that we need? More persuasive. You wait at the um, stage for half an hour. She never appears. And that's that. That's that. We were we were able to get persuasive by writing a thing in the Veil Garden, but that was basically just farming. No, it wasn't the Veil Garden. Where was it? One of these places we could just write. Uh, so in the singing mandrake. Ah, yes. Of right here, if we write an epic. Here, if we write an epic, we fail. Apparently, God damn it. You fail to write the next <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Luke. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Proprietic novelist stands on a chair and bellows at you over the singer Mandrake's cheerful din. He's using a copy of your latest work to semaphore the message, showing his group for a drink. Gracious in literary triumph. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like us, the magnanimous choice. Glasses lift high and toast after Toast, sloshing black wine, your companions top up your drink whenever you pull it from your lips. Even the most jealous doesn't take the opportunity to poison you. How civilized. When two of the art tables, one headed by a notable jewel thief, the are by wayward Harris, grow rakeous. Your friend raised their compliments to a bellow. One of the Harris retinue licks something golden from a silver spoon. Your smiles sleepily leans back and vanishes to an empty air. Prisoner's honey. Perspective novice slurs, the poet's finest friend. You should try it. You need to, you need to head to Vale Garden to nurture your acquaintanceship with the heiress, a jewel thief, or perhaps strike up a friendship with the closest diatomist. Okay, so we've gotten somewhere. We've gotten prisoner's honey, which is uh, a way to get high, I think. Nice. And see, our, our persuasive has gotten a fucking massive shop. <laughs> Fifteen to twenty-one. Nice! Alright, I mean, maybe this is... Maybe, I mean, I would love to go check out the devil, see how much our percentage has actually gone up by. I'd say it's like 31% now. <laughs> 40! That's so much higher! That's so much higher! With an, do we want so to waste another confident smile, smile to ensure that we definitely like still fail? Well, I think it raises it up to a 64% chance. Do you think that's good enough? I don't. Well, that's... Hey, you're, you're, you've are you got the wheel on this one. If you use a confident smile, it's... We'll just, keep, we'll just keep hammering the 40% chance. Because as we know, yep. we'll, we'll succeed by the seventh time. Oh no, we succeed now. Walk with me. Yeah. I catch up with her in the street. She looks everywhere, but as you as, you, as she speaks... We're going away together. Yes, it's love. You'll find it's always about love in the end. Don't interfere. Finally, she meets your eye. I'm not a good enemy, and I don't want to see you again. And now we need to get raised the trail back to seven. Okay. So, I mean, contact information broker, 100%. Cost whispered hints, who cares? We have quite a bit of that, yeah. And now we're at seven. Closing the case. The fact of the mess are clear. What else to be done with them? Your information gathering is paid off. It seems that Scunning Devil is about to make his move. And this is a making your name, so. Ooh. Nice. Your informant reports that the absconding devil is en route to the docks. If the evidence you've gathered is correct, plans to elope with the music hall singer to the tomb colonies. What will you do? Report I mean, location? The devil's not, I think the devil's our friend. This specific devil you. is our friend? I like this guy. With the guy we've never met? <laughs> well, we, he got us out of prison, didn't he? It's, I don't think this is the same devil. <laughs> it's not the same devil, there's more than one. I don't think it's the same devil. Oh. Well, I mean, still, I'm still... Still on the side of the demon. 
so we can warn him? <laughs> warn him about I don't know what or what, but we I can warn him. I think my my gut is telling us telling me that I wanna warn the devil or something. Ah, uh, you read this one. You warn the devil that the singer will betray him, and that the brass embassy is on his trail. The absconding devil puts down his suitcase and smiles a little smile that has nothing to do with humour. Of course I knew, of course. Devils are difficult to read. He's expressionless as he takes out his handkerchief. He wipes his yellow eye and presses something into your hand before heading up to the gangplank. In your hand is a teardrop-shaped diamond. Perhaps the absconding devil was playing with you. That's it. Devils are known for their sleight of hand. For good or for ill, the case is over. The embassy will not pay you your fee, but you have a story to tell, and a particular diamond. I have 20 full of diamonds. Nice. And that was that. Okay. Oh, that's All more. to account. What is this? A blearly entertainer stamps up, up to you in the Eclipse Tavern. Black Ale sloshes out of her mug with every swinging, swaying step. He was a friend, you know, the absconding devil. She downs what's left in her cup before slamming it on the table. Tell me, what gives you the right to decide on people's lives? I don't uh, think we've decided anything. We just told them something, <laughs> the truth. Yeah, lady. Yeah, back up. Um, well, how would you respond? This girl comes up to you and is like, Hey man, stop, stop fucking shit up. This is my life. What gives you the right? So can you just say, say, I know, I know the facts and certain facts of life in the niche. I know better than most. I can do what I did, I did what I felt right at the time. I wished to make things turn out for the best. It was the kind of things. You were aware of hidden depth. Oh, I'm, guys, this, everything, this game is so deep. <laughs> there was more oh. to what happened than she could know. And you were there that gave you the right. Who said she, you could decide their story? They certainly weren't doing a particularly good job of it. I'd say <laughs> I did what felt right. I tried to make things turn out for the best. Uh, I did what. That's such a toxic response, though. Uh, I can decide your story for you. Shut up. Yeah, that would be this one. This one's oh. toxic. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling toxic, but, you know. You're, you're always toxic. feeling toxic. We're not doing that. Li <laughs> this is the best? You honestly think? She laughs affectedly, drawing the notice of other patrons. Ah ha 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 ha. You think you knew what, what he... She pinches the bridge of her nose and blinks fiercely. But what about... Have, but what about what I wanted? She runs her fingers around the rim of her mug, before snatching it up and... A hand catches her wrist. The greying messenger shakes her head. Enough, madam. The bleary entertainer breaks into tears and stumbles away. The messenger bows. My master has heard of your powers of discernment. He wishes to meet you at your earliest convenience. Oh shit, an actual st wait, this sounds more and more like an actual story. We've not had a, like a proper, longer story in a while. Yeah. A career. Oh my god, there's so much here now. Making your name, a career making case. Seeking documents in the sunken embassy. Or we can do more Honey Owl detective work, which. Eh. Would you I like, like to see. Detective. Well, we but, like yeah. him, but he's not gonna. do a lot for us right now, I don't think. No. So we could go meet with this guy and try and make a name for ourselves. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to meet this guy right now. Every great detective makes a name on a notable case. Will this be yours? Stuff the case of the missing heiress to unlock new stories. A good lead. We've heard whispers of a man in dire need of a detective. Visit the Comtess Far. We'll tell you what you need to know. Begin the case from life on Lady Bone Roads. We're on Lady Bone Road. And I guess we're making... Her father is desperate, but he has a low opinion of the constabulary. He would like to engage your services. The tragic tale. The adventurous Comtess has been gone for three days. Her father's strong box lies mangled on the study floor. Daddy will give you anything to see that money again. And a starling little girl, of course. That goes without saying. 
Okay, it's a real story. Let's go. Alright. Okay, so our, our story, our, our case is there's a girl missing and we have to find her. Pretty much. Okay. Persistence pays off. Ask the right questions often enough and eventually you'll get some kind of answer. Now we have seven. How much do we need? Uh, ten. We need ten. Okay, so something that we can definitely get done next time. Oh, the next thing, frequent key locations needs three actions, and we have one. Oh, okay. Well, that so one was... what would he like to spend one action on? Uh, I always want to get into the carnival. <laughs> like, always. The carnival's such a mystery to me. But what the hell Just is because... this? When did we unlock this? The clay quarters? Have a look at the clay quarters. B the entrance to the clay quarters beneath London are a myriad of tunnels stuck deep into the earth. The clay men regularly close old entrances and carve out new ones. It's rare that the same route down can be used twice. Okay, so if we go into the clay quarters, though, uh, there's no guarantee that we can actually get out. <laughs> right? Yes, but this seems to have something to do with the case. Because you, you unlock this by not having a finder of heiresses. Hmm. If we find her, we can't go here again. So I say we go. Let's go. The clay we stares at you blankly, shifting his lad and heart from one shoulder to the other. He's the one, though. When you produce a pouch of moon pearls, his impassivity disappears. The moon pearls vanish into a huge grey hand. He leads you hastily into a reeking alley behind a burned-out public house. As he keeps a nervous watch, how single to see a clay man fidget. You heave open the doors to the beer cellar. A tunnel in the middle of the floor burrows deep under the city, its loomy walls crawling with softly luminous beetles. Okay. The clay quarters. Tangled maze of tunnels. Go. A tangled maze of tunnels searching for lightless miles beneath the city. Some say the constable's abandoned murderers down there. Some say the wake prowls the dripping corridors. Ooh, aren't we looking for the wake? <laughs> but what the hell, you've got some string, you'll probably be fine. I mean, we are looking for the wake, but don't we need treats to... Yes, gather? and maybe we get them here, because this mansion to wake. I don't know, I'm just making wild conjecture. But yeah, whatever, I think, I, I mean, I want to integrate the clay man. But if we do that now, we probably won't be able to do what's next, right? Well, we can so have one action, so we might as well. Okay, let's go. Lady V is religiously punctual about her. Thursday appointment of the urban physician, the investment to Lord... <laughs> now, because these are blanked, is it just my mind that fills these in with, like, random swears? Yep, yep, Lord Bitch. Lady of China is religiously punctual about her. Thursday, the appointment of the urban physician. The invitees to Lord Bitch's Wits Night read like a peerage of the espionage profession. And then there's Lord Fox at a groom, the one that looks from the outside on the outside. That's definitely what they were going for, right? Look, say what you want about Lady Vagina and Lord Fox, but they throw a hell of a party. <laughs> well, that's that. Alright. Well, we've got something to investigate. Yeah, we got things. We got progress. We're making a name for ourselves. I still, we still have no idea how to uh, how to make waves, but we're, we're certainly trying. And hey, we got ChatGPT now, so if we ever have any questions. And we've got we your got, boy, we got our, Dylan. We got our third co-host, ChatGPT. We've got <laughs> our man or, or woman or person behind the scene, Bob Dylan. We've got a whole cohort of people tackling fallen London. We've got a <laughs> lot of people behind the scenes. <laughs> but we've already, by the way, gotten a letter back. Really? That reads, very, very 
interestingly. <laughs> okay. Okay. And I'll, for for your sake, you won't be able to see this. Uh, but I'll, I think I like the formatting of this enough to show the the viewers at home. <laughs> Why is it always viewers at home? What if they're not at home? <laughs> you know, for you viewers out on the streets, <laughs> uh, I'd like to to show this to you specifically. So, and I mean, you can read it here on a like little blurb, it's not as exciting, but it says, One of many Mr. Cards is maintaining a leisurely, probably drunken watch over a certain building for many hours. They would like your help. It says, Hello, Luke and Shadow. It's still me. Bob Dylan was just a name to use in London. They became something more... I became something more myself than ever before. Uh, in any case, would you like to join in a stakeout? Drinking food plenty here. Yes. Yes, Bob Dylan. So I don't know what that means. One of many Mr. Cards. Do we know several? I don't. <laughs> well, there's multiple devils in this game. And then I also... The, the follow-up message is one of many Mr. Cards has invited you to accept a gift of admiration. Oh, nice. So... What kind of gift? Well, we... <laughs> I don't know yet. I have to accept or reject it. Well, obviously we're accepting. Your gift of admiration from one many Mr. Cards gained two sudden insight, two harder and less, and two confidence miles. Damn, that's like tons of advantage tokens. Hell yeah. Yeah. What a legend. What a guy. Thank you, Bob Dylan. Or, you know, Mr. Cards. Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So how do we respond? Oh. Invited to loiter. An acquaintance has asked you to loiter with them. They're watching over a certain place and it'll be many hours of surveillance. They'd benefit from help. They have requested your assistance. Will you join them in, a in the long hours? So... Oh my yeah. god, so hold on. Let's read those options that we can't select. We can resist your forceful instincts. It might be easier just to burst in. But you'll learn less. Repress your urge towards action. It's like, if I had enough forceful, I could just be, fuck this stake out, I'm walking in the front door. Nice. Or I could be hard just to get what you need. Back a shuffle by, desperate for pennies, growing urchins past, serving for food. You allow nothing to distract you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, we're just, we're just sitting and sipping tea. Pace yourself, yeah, otherwise you'll need to keep refilling your cup. There's no place for a samovar? Samovar? I'm gonna ask Google. Hey Google, what does samovar mean? A highly decorated tea urn used in Russia. I I that doesn't seem to make sense for me here. I I will send you the picture from Wikipedia, and uh, maybe you could show the audience because this is more than decorative. Oh, it's like a... It looks like 18th century Breaking Bad, Walter White. <laughs> yeah, but it's like for making tea or so making some sort of brew. Yeah. Yeah, so it does fit, actually. I don't know, how much research did they do to come up with the most, like, niche damn words? <laughs> it's, they must have done an insane amount of research. What I'm thinking is that they must have read some series of books that was based in, you know, 18th century England, and they just copied every word from it. <laughs> well, we're accepting anyway. Pace yourself, otherwise you'll need to keep filling a cup. And this is no... Uh, so what? what's our message going to be this time? Okay, so... I mean, we start off with the old... Hi, Bob Dylan. <laughs> Thank you for your invitation. Sup, Sup, Bob Dylan. Sup, I have made it. <laughs> you know, because we're here on our stakeout. This is, we're doing, we might as well get into the, where we are. This is called role playing. Okay, I'm just Googling good questions to ask new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give me a second here. Describe your perfect day. Now that's a prompt. Okay, what are we staking out? Also, <laughs> describe your perfect day. <laughs> Now that now Bob Dylan, we totally understand that that's a difficult question to answer. So instead, what you could do is just share with us your favorite memory. <laughs> well, I'm not adding that. Oh, why not? I want to know more about Bob Dylan. <laughs> no, we can just leave it, leave it, leave it at that. Yeah, and I, I would, put, I would always add in a sincerely, Luke and Shadow, but you know. You do you. Uh, the thing is, if we look at this from the roleplay perspective, do we need a a sincerely Luke? Because we're technically next to each other on a stakeout. When we're next, <laughs> you don't randomly say, "Hey, man, so what are we doing today?" By the way, sincerely, James. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, put in kind regards instead. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I would still sign off, Luke and Shadow. Let's see who's put it like this. Okay. I'm happy with that. It's a good thing you've chosen a blend that tastes almost as good cool as it does hot. Otherwise, your tea would have rapidly turned from a pleasant break in your surveillance to a sad and disappointment. Around your eighth hour of waiting, you spot an old man shuffling up the road. He hobbles painfully slowly. It takes him 20 minutes to reach the location you're watching. But when he does, he darts in, suddenly nimble. Your acquaintance has all the information they need. Your time here is finished. Okay. Nice. That tells me nothing. I have no idea what this was about. <laughs> <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Let's go back to the claymen. Yay! Claymen. So we wanted. What did we want? I don't know. What do we wanted? We can insert claymen, line a passage. We can try to patch up. We can assist them at mud surgery, trying to patch up their wounds. Or we can track down a recidivist. A, re a res What? <laughs> Is that someone that tries to recede? From a state, <laughs> you took refugee here, a refugee here after escaping custody. The constable aren't welcome down here and they'll pay for his return. Recidivist? Yeah, I'm not sure. I've heard that before. Recidivist. A criminal who reoffends. Well, we're tracking down Especially a criminal. We gotta. We, lately, we've been doing a lot of investigating, but not a lot of helping the law. So, we gotta pretend, to, in order to keep up the facade that we're helpful to the police, we, we occasionally gotta track down a criminal, I think. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's a fair conclusion. He smeared his face and clothes with mud to blend in, a tall man with a convenient cragginess to his demeanor. It's a good disguise, but clay men don't shiver in the tunnels cold. Or rub life back into stiffening fingers. Drag him out into the waiting hands of the constables to pay you a fair price, which apparently is 49 pieces of rust gold, which is less than me spending on a rat catcher. Dude. Yeah, I'm not getting out of bed for anything less than like 80 rusty gold, dude. Alright, now we're, we're going to assist this guy in the macho tree, and then we're going to continue looking for this heiress. Yeah. Their broad clay hands, so deft at hauling cargo, found blood doctor's work. Your tools are a trowel, a brush, a bucket of saw and freshly dug clay in your own fingers. You spent the day restoring sagging loam faces and feeling dents in earthy shoulders. The pay and impurities pan from their vein of fresh clay, nuggets of gold, fragments of jade. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. Uh, what I'm really interested in is the option that we don't have, which is emancipate a claimer. Well, we need because for that, that implies, for that um, we need a finder of heiresses. So first, we need to find the heiresses. 
And I also need a strong backed labor. Luke, we need a six pack to free these slaves. Well, I. Anyone can get a six pack. Just do enough push ups. Or not push up, pull ups? What's the thing called? Sit ups? Yeah, no, you got it right. Push ups. <laughs> no, 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 push ups. If you pull yourself up enough, you'll get a six-pack. Also, it's about dieting. It's a lot about dieting. I have Is it, it e Well, yes. If you're like one of those strong men that's like big and bulky, they basically can't get a six-pack. Really? I assumed it was all working out. Like, if you just worked out hard enough, it didn't matter what you ate. Nah, nah. If you're one of those big strong men, you know, those are that have like a heft to them. They're like yeah, all yeah. muscle, but they don't have a six pack because that they're too busy being rotund and strong. Yeah. Well, 